In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Good morning. This month's offer as a Thanksgiving Mass for the birthday of Christina Martha. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who renew the world through mysteries beyond all telling, grant we pray that your church may be guided by your eternal design and not be deprived of your help in this present age. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Lo, I am about to create new heavens and a new earth. The things of the past shall not be remembered or come to mind. Instead, there shall always be rejoicing and happiness in what I create. For I create Jerusalem to be a joy and its people to be a delight. I will rejoice in Jerusalem and exult in my people. No longer shall the sound of weeping be heard there or the sound of crying. No longer shall there be in it an infant who lives but a few days or an old man who does not round up his full lifetime. He dies a mere youth who reaches but a hundred years, and he who fails of a hundred shall be thought accursed. They shall live in the houses they build, and eat the fruit of the vineyards they plant. The word of the Lord. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I will extol you, O Lord, for you drew me clear and did not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, you brought me up from the mother from the netherworld. You preserved me from among those going down into the pit. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Sing praise to the Lord, you his faithful ones, and give thanks to his holy name. For his anger lasts but a moment, a lifetime, his good will. At nightfall weeping enters in, but with the dawn rejoicing. I will praise the Lord for you praise me. Hear, O Lord, and have pity on me. O Lord, be my helper. You change my mourning into dancing. O oh Lord my God, forever will I give you thanks. I will praise the Lord for the Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good and not 
evil so that you may live and the Lord will be with you. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, in all endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. At the time, Jesus left Samaria for Galilee, for Jesus himself testified that a prophet has no honor in his native place. When he came into Galilee, the Galileans welcomed him, since they had seen all he had done in Jerusalem at the feast, for the damsel had gone to the feast. Then he returned to Cana in Galilee, where he had made the water wine. Now there was a royal official whose son was ill in Capernaum. When he heard that Jesus had arrived in Galilee from Judea, he went to him and asked him to come down and heal his son who was near death. Jesus said to him, Unless you people see signs and wonders, you will not believe. The royal official said to him, Sir, Come down before my child dies. Jesus said to him, You may go, your son will live. The man believed what Jesus said to him and left. While the man was on his way back, his slaves met him and told him that his wife was live. He asked them when he began to recover. They told him, the fever left him yesterday, about one in the afternoon. The father realized that just at that time, Jesus had said to him, Your son will live. And he and his whole household came to believe. Now this was the second sign Jesus did when he came to Galilee from Judea. The Gospel of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, in today's fast reading, God tells His people through the prophet Isaiah that He will recreate the earth and give back joy to the people. He knows the suffering and oppression His people facing. They were crying and their prayer reached to God and He promised that He will recreate the earth. It was fulfilled when Jesus came. In today's Gospel, we see that fulfillment. When Jesus came, in today's Gospel, it tells us two miracles Jesus performed in Galilee. The first one is standing on water in the wine, in wedding feast in Canaan. And second one is healing of the son of royal official, who was that deadly ill. By turning the water into wine, Jesus gave back joy and need of the couple at the marriage feast, and he blessed all the marriages throughout the world through this miracle. Wine is the symbol, symbol of joy and fulfillment. Jesus wants couples, the married people, to be united, peaceful, and grow in their love joy. The second miracle, we see the faith in the father of the child who was sick. Because of this faith, he was healed. We see that his father believed and the whole household believed in the Lord. Both of these miracles, we see what is happening. There are intercessors, those who are praying for other people and God listen to them. In the first miracle, Mary, the mother of God, Pastor was intercessor. She prayed for the couple and Jesus listened to her and answered it. Second one is the father of the sick son and his intercession also was listened by God. 
throughout the world, there are essential needs depriving people and oppression going on in some country. So we pray for the people who are suffering throughout the world. We intercede for them through the Mass, throughout the world. The Mass, when we finish this Mass here, the other Mass will begin. 24 hours a day, Mass is offering for interceding the need of the people. Today also we remember the people of Myanmar who are suffering a lot. And yesterday only over 50 people were killed. So God listen to the intercessory prayer. We have to pray with faith and hope because God always is on the side of the people suffering and he listened to the intercessory prayer. Especially, we are praying with faith in Jesus, the Son of God, who came to earth to give peace and joy. With confidence in our compassionate and loving God, in a world of change and unpredictable events, we bring our needs. For the leaders of the church, may their witness to the gospel inspire others to walk for peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord for the leaders of the nations, may their commitment to justice and freedom make the world a better place for all people. We pray to the Lord. Lord for the safety of the people of Myanmar, that their lives will be protected and peace and freedom bring back to their lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord for those who speak out against unchristian affluence and dehumanizing poverty, we pray to the Lord. Lord for those who long for help, those in spiritual turmoil, those with incurable gifts, and those who remember and care for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord for those who have died, especially those who were killed in Myanmar during these days, may they know the compassion and forgiveness of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord God of all goodness, we have your promise of healing and salvation. We rely on your providence in hope and trust. Make our prayers through Christ our Lord. Bless our Lord of creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Through all the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Bless our Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through our divine and work of human hands, it will begin our spiritual dream. Blessed 
Great brethren, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May we receive, O Lord, we pray, the effects of this offering dedicated to you, so that we may be cleansed from all our ways and be renewed by growth in heavenly life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, O Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts. We are free from this water affections. They may so deep with the things of this blessed world, as to go rather to the things that eternally endure. So with all the angels and saints, we praise you. As without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of us. Amen. In the same way, when Sapa was sent there, he took the chalice and once more given thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim you are dead, O Lord, and profess your resurrection, and day you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have been us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by the end of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, you are just spread throughout the world, and bring heart to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be boys to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and found by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in the heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Here this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against 
us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostle, Please, I give you mine, please, I give you. Look not on our sins, but the fate of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in God as with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the signs of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us mercy. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I
let's pray. <coughs> May your holy name. May your holy gifts, O Lord, we pray, give us life by making us new, and by sanctifying us, lead us to things eternal, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Renew your people within and without, O Lord, and since it is your will that they be unhindered by bodily delights, Give them, we pray, perseverance in their spiritual intent, through Christ our Lord. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorify God with your lives. Saint Michael, the Archangels, defense of the day of battle, we are protection against the witness and snare of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and to the Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, trust in the hell of Satan, all the evil spirit, who proud throughout the world, seeking the reign of souls. Amen.